Hello friends and enemies, welcome to Happy For Now It's Me as well here with my manga log and haul for the month of August. I feel pretty good about this month. I did not read as much Queen's Quality as I wanted to, but I will be reading Queen's Quality this month in September because it's 30 and 30 or 90 and 30 if, if you've got a wild hair like I do. Anyways, uh, yeah, I read and hauled quite a bit. I did read all Jose, like exclusively read Jose in the entire month of August. So that feels good. That feels really good to me personally. So let's talk about the 10 books I did read this month. Let's talk about my stats real quick and then we'll talk about everything I read. First up, I read 10 volumes of manga for 1,895 pages and an average rating of a 4.2. I love to see this. I love when this happens. And genre wise, I just read 10 Jose. That's it. All I read was Jose. And you know what? I was thriving, literally thriving. So there's that too. But majority of my reading was for a vlog that I did where I talked about and read through the end of Something's Wrong With Us, which was nerve wracking a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you and say like it wasn't. I'm also nervous to finish another series I have here. Like it's gonna be okay. But I read through all of Something's Wrong With Us and I do think this series ends strongly. It does such a good job carrying you through 19 volumes, three of which are bonus stories that I do think add to the narrative and help close up the full story. So like definitely worth the read. If you were worried they wouldn't be worth it, they're worth it. The entirety of this series, Something's Wrong With Us To Me, I, the reason I'm not holding it up is it's literally with Heather right now over at Hia Booktubes because she wants to finish it as well. Something's Wrong With Us for me, I think captured everything I love about Jose at the end of the day. We had a really good mystery thriller dark romance plot to it, as like romantic suspense I guess we'll call it plot. There's definitely some darkness here. There's murder and people like committing crimes and things like that. But we also get a lot like a lot of on page just like turmoil. It's very soap opera, very dramatic. I didn't give a single volume of this less than four stars. And that says a lot as well. Like I generally don't read manga I don't think I'm gonna love, okay? I will say that. And I am a generally a four star and above for most of my manga. But a whole series, 19 volumes, not a single one, didn't work for me. Didn't have me dying to pick up the next volume. Like the wait from 13 to 19 was excruciating, but worth it because I knew, I knew this was a series that if I could marathon it, it would be all the better for myself. And it was. So if this is a series that's been on your radar, if you can get it from your library, if you can find it used, pick it up. You are going to have the time of your life. You are going to go on a ride and a good ride at that. And you're going to have so much freaking fun. So much fun. And you're gonna look back and just be like, wow, because that's, it, it was just, it's so well done. It's, it's beyond well done. Um, the next two that I read are ARCs I got via NetGalley. So they're digital manga copies that were read now on NetGalley. So I picked them up. First up, we have Puppicids Attract. This one was like a three and a half. This is really cute. I am a dog lady. I'm also a cat lady. Like I have a dog and a cat. I love my pets. And this was just so fun. because uh, We have this firefighter love interest who has this little like fluffy Pomeranian. And then we have our other, our female main character who has a like Rottweiler. So like literally opposites, right? Like he's this tall buff firefighter with this tiny little squeaky dog. And she is this lady with a big guard dog of sorts. And I love her. I love all dogs. So like this is not, but it's just a very funny, like, you know, opposite situation, obviously. And they keep running into each other in the park and develop a friendship. And it's just really precious. It is actually older woman, younger man. And I did enjoy it. I do think I will pick these up on sale digitally to read slowly over time. I'm not in a rush to continue. The chapters are really, really short. And I felt like volume one was a pretty like bare bones plot, but like it's a volume one. So I'm willing to give the next couple volumes a shot, see what I think, right? So yeah, this one was fun. I love that I was able to grab this from the publisher on NetGalley. Like <laughs> that was fantastic. But yeah, I, for the most part, just enjoyed it and had a good time. I thought the art was pretty cute. The dogs are adorable. And yeah, I want to read more, but I'm not like dying for volume two. This is also available physically, I believe. The next one is not. The next one is digital only. And I will be picking these up as well when they're like $6.99 or less, probably. And that is That Beauty is a Tramp volume one. All right, if you like Sweat and Soap and if you like We Can't Do Just Plain Love, may I present That Beauty is a Tramp. Another one that I feel like is a great option for those of us who love that and like a little bit of my androgynous boyfriend mixed in. This girl is unable to be intimate with men or close to men and she is working with this guy who's like a gorgeous model because he thinks she's really pretty uh, and wants to use her for a shoot where he needs a partner in the pictures or whatever and she and him are working together to teach her how to be with men and how to be in the public 
and it's really interesting. It's really fun. I'm really, really enjoying it so far. I'm excited to see where it goes. It's definitely one of those ones that like I need more. I'm a little bit sad it's not available physically that I found. So hopefully we can get it out of digital jail at some point because the art is pretty fun in it as well. But yeah, I will be picking up more of this digitally to read and I will report back as I continue the series. And the last thing I read in August was Healer for the Shadow Hero Volume 2. I don't have this either because these are both with Heather. And this was so fun. I thought this, if you were like on the fence after Volume 1, maybe try Volume 2 because they continue their just very precious little like romance with each other and there's confessions and them moving forward into a relationship. We do have more books coming in the series, which is great because I do think there's room for that. But I also feel like you could read two volumes of this and just like call it a day and be happy. So there's that. Like I liked that about it. I do... I, I was really <laughs> to know we were getting more because I definitely want to see this couple together further and like watch their relationship progress more. But this was just precious. Like absolutely precious. I really really enjoyed it. She's working at the bakery and like living her life a little bit with him and available to help him. Some stuff happens. She has to heal him again and it's just... They're so nervous about like being together and liking each other that it's just really really sweet to read. And like a fun juxtaposition to the fact that like they have to bone for her to heal him. Uh, yeah, I loved it. Fantastic time. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the books I brought in. I, so as a caveat here, September will be a low buy. You will get a stats video at the end of the month after I finish my 90 and 30. Uh, we're going in with positive energy, but also some hesitation because I'm nervous I won't manage 90 and 30. But um, I did a little bit of a haul because Barnes over the three day weekend did have triple stamps if you are a premium member and I'm a premium member because I do a lot of their pre-order deals and stuff so it's very much worth it to me and it's out today when I show you this but I did find something early that I was very very excited for. But yeah I'm really pumped to see what all I manage in September but on that note I had to stock up a little bit and listen I already had ordered a volume I thought I had and I didn't have so I could finish the series. It's fine. Either way, we have Under the Oak Trees Physical Release. This is a beautiful hardcover. I will be reading this in September during 30 and 30. This will probably be my hardcover manga read. I know it's not a manga, but manuals count too. Um, we've had this exception before as hosts. But yeah, I found this a couple days early and I'm so happy I did. I'm obsessed. I love the foiling. I love the cover. Everything about this is perfection. All right, next we have my my stack of manga. Some of these are ones I picked up yesterday on sale. Mm. So three of these are the ones that I did not pick up on sale the other day. I think I'm pretty sure I did get under the oak tree during the sale. I picked up Bite Maker Volume Eleven because I thought I owned ten. I don't. Um, that came that came in the mail today, so we're gonna finish that series. I also got my pre order of I Married My Female Friend Volume Three, and I've already read this. And spoiler, I loved it. It was one of my three for the first day of Thirty and Thirty. Fantastic continuation. We have a sign of affection with Gojo on it. <laughs> um, I am currently in the process of reading this right now. This is a misprint bookmark, but look at him, so cute. Anyways, I'm reading this right now, so there's that. Oh, another pre order that came in is Jujutsu Kaisen Volume Twenty Three. I'm hopefully gonna get caught up on this in during 30 and 30. We'll we'll see if I manage it. Then I did pick up Queen's Quality Volume 8 because that gives me volumes 1 through 9 to read in full for 30 and 30 before I have to go to the app. <laughs> and then I do have 10 and 11. May actually found them for me at a half price books in Illinois. So she picked those up for me and I actually am now current up to, vol well not current, but I have through volume 17. So nearly current. The Dragon Knight's Beloved volume 7 and this puts me current with owning them, not reading them. We also have Blood on the Tracks volume 16. I thought I'd pre-ordered this. I don't know if some of my really old pre-orders got canceled or what on Barnes & Noble, but picked this up. So once I get 17 in the mail, I'm good to go. Or if it doesn't come, I will go buy it. I got Cheeky Brat Volume 11, which I'm realizing I may not have Volume 10. So I may need to get that this month, but we'll see what happens. Either way, I'm happy to have Volume 11 and be able to catch up on the rest of that series again. Next, I have I Want to Be a Wall Volume 3, which means... I will be current with this series once I read this volume and I'm really excited to see how this closes out. Then two more I've already read. We have the newest steamship. So I have The Villainess and The Demon Knight Volume 3. Enjoyed this a lot already. I'll talk about it more in September slash you'll see it in my vlog this Thursday but picked this up of course. Then I also got I'll Never Be Your Crown Princess Betrothed because I was curious about it. Shay was curious about it. I just was like I'll bite the bullet and get it. It's triple stamps. So there's that. But yeah that's everything I bought. Everything I read. It was kind of a like slow month in a good way. I feel like I needed the build up to 30 and 30 of course because when you're going to try and read 90 you can't read 
20 plus volumes a month before I feel like always. So I'm really pumped and motivated to tackle my TBR shelves. Let me know what manga you read and loved in the month of August. I about said September and August. And if you don't want to do any of that, you can leave me a crown emoji. We'll do that. We'll do a princessy crown emoji because I'll never be your crown princess um, in the comments. And I will have links to all these manga for you down below, links to my friend anywhere on the internet, and I will catch you all in just a few days. Bye! Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is.